Hello, everyone. My name is Ashley Glickley. I am a science communication fellow and teacher aboard the EV Nautilus. Um, we are currently exploring an isolated seamount northwest of Johnston Atoll. And we're just happy to be here with you. The um, chat is available for questions, so feel free to post any questions. We take questions in English, in Espanol, or in Portuguese. <laughs> and to my right, I have my friend and scientist, Aisa, who's going to introduce herself. Hi everyone, uh, here's Haisa Hogan, I'm part of the um, science team. I am oceanographer and I am here as a taxonomist of the network of ocean sensors. And continuing down the science row. Hi everyone, yes, I am Dwight Coleman. I am the expedition leader on this project and I am the watch leader on the, sharing the watch leader duties on the 12 to 4 with Leela, and uh, I'm from the University of Rhode Island. And I'm sitting next to Dwight. My name is Jane Carrick. I am the data logger on this watch. I'm also from the University of Rhode Island, where I'm a PhD student there. Thank you. And we'll go on to our video manager. Hello, my name is Panos Lurotos. I'm the video engineer for this watch. Michael! <laughs> Michael! Looking for the button. There we go. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Michael Vai. I am the Atalanta pilot slash co pilot to Herc. I'll be operating uh, anything that the primary pilot does not want to do. <laughs> That's a true story. Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is James Barnett, and I am the Herc pilot. I'm the one that is lucky enough to play with the robot. I'm Lynette. I'm the navigator of this watch. Dwight, you missed a lot of. Uh, banter in the last two dives that we or the last two shifts we were on. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've been absent for a while here, a trying to get readjusted to my seat. We're still trying to determine if James' Canadian accent is real or not. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to ask you a couple of questions that we... I wouldn't consider it banter as much as just a bunch of giggle fits. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <so true. laughs> there was crying, we were laughing so hard. It was concerning. It was <laughs> concerning. <laughs> All like right. a slumber party. Zoom in a little bit. What's that? So do, have we moved the ship lately? Or we're just continuing? Still moving. Yep, the ship is moving toward waypoint five. Cool. We are in this nodule field, taking a look at any biology that we might see. That looks like another one of those xenophyophores. Does that seem right? Were those the ones that created their body by the sediment that we were talking about the other day? They were the, um, the protists, the foraminiferans. They build these kind of test structures on the seafloor. Can we come wide, please? They look similar to what we saw. Yeah, I agree. Looks like a lot of them, too. So we're crossing this um, saddle feature, as we call it, which is <coughs> the area between two steeper slopes. So it rises up to our south, and it rises up to our north. But we're in the middle of this flat area kind of tell looking at the scanning sonar that there's not much around us just this sort of expanse of manganese very small really manganese nodules and uh, we kind of predicted that's what we would see in this area yeah what does that tell us about the formation of this seamount what are the nodules or uh -huh. the just this area uh, well th it's an right this is an old old piece of seafloor that has been uh, 
not moving tectonically or not active volcanically. So it's given a lot of time to for these nodules to kind of grow so, in this area. Yep. And, yep. But it doesn't have a lot to say about the sort of history of the seamount. It's just a, a byproduct. We have Other a question in the chat of someone sponge. If someone who gets seasick can work on the boat. <laughs> you get over it. I got seasick yesterday, actually. Did you? I did. Well, we uh, after we take our samples um, from the ROV, we do a lot of um, sample processing, and then we have to enter all of that s information into a, a data log. And so I was staring at the computer, and the porthole was closed in the data lab, and I was feeling pretty ill by the end of it as, as we were in transit. So nothing a little bit of time on the deck with your eyes closed won't won't fix, though. And some Dramamine. So, yeah. Um, just, sorry, um, we just saw I have Zoni sponge. This sponge is the Semperella. And uh, looks like it's one that is particular found in this type of sediment. And uh, the previous uh, ships co um, collected because probably something has been completely studied yet. So it's a kind of, uh, even though we don't see so many biological in this with our eyes, probably this is host a, a specific kind of community. Do you think the community is just very small so we can't see it? Definitely there is different um, range and, and uh, scale of what we are able to see. Uh, and definitely the possibility like is that it has lots of uh, microfauna and but uh, in the scope of this expedition what we are able usually we we are focusing the microfauna but when we have opportunity definitely is interesting to to look A zoom in pause Enemy. I want to zoom to see if it's. Yeah, it looks like an uni. Just see if I see the. Nav, can you move, zoom out a bit so I can see where the next waypoint is? Next waypoint is. Oh, that's ah, beautiful. Okay. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So we'll have to decide what you want to do here. Instead of climbing, we can go into the flat, into the sandy area. How much time? How is we are with regards to time? And We're at waypoint five. We're doing pretty well. Okay, so yeah. if you agree, like I would like to have a... Yep. Look in that more flat area and see if there is different type of sediment. Maybe it will be similar. Look at this one. crack. Yes. Like this. Uh, that, yeah. This. Uh, Wonder what caused that. Yeah. So Lynette, we're not gonna proceed directly to waypoint six after we get to five. We're okay. gonna go down slope into the flatter area, looking for um, see what the sediment type looks like down there. Uh, so we'll okay. be going downhill a little bit, but it looks really gentle. Um, um, it doesn't look like which it. Which direction? Goes so up. this is the lowest point here. So do you want to backtrack to that no. area? No. Down to the uh, to the east. I don't know how far away we need to go, but this yes. This will be going upslope to the east. Uh, no, that's it's down actually. It looks down. That goes down into a basin. If you look at the, um, do we have the, uh, in the dive plan, it's the, uh, you'll see it. Sea pig. 
So see where that see where that grid cross point is to the lower right. Um, yeah, how far away is roughly that? Four hundred and fifty meters. Four hundred. So I don't know. I think we can afford to take two hours or so and go down here. We don't have to go all the way that far, but maybe partial part of the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's. So we yeah we'll probably you can put a waypoint there if you like. Uh, we'll probably head in that direction for an hour and uh, or change our mind depending on what we see. I zoom out. Sound good? Sounds perfect. Yeah. yeah sounds thank good. you. Okay. Thanks. A nice close up of a sea pig we just got. So that was about 450 meters away, that new waypoint? Yep. And if you want to speed the ship up a little bit, it's, there's not, this is pretty safe territory to pick up speed maybe. We are that's going point to three. Do you want oh, to go that, oh, wow. that? I didn't know. No, that's yeah. good. Okay. We'll zoom in a little bit, Carlos. There is a fish there. Yeah, what is that? Zoom in. Oh my. Smiling. Sponge. Look at the face. Oh. They all have like, Look like platypus a face. <laughs> Basogigas. Caskill. No. The sponge looks like the same one, the same perella. Triclops working okay? It's not working. It's not? Uh -huh. So we can't get photos from it. But that's what we're looking yeah. Oh no, that's the main. This is the main camera. Ah. Uh, can we come widely? So, oh, so that's a frozen image? Oh no, that's the, that, that's the bubble cam. Sorry, never mind. And I think this sea cucumber we have seen before is does anybody know if Tim Burbank has been alerted to the issue with the... Um, he's probably still asleep because he was up late. He was up past the dive launch. Yeah, I figured that, but it's getting later now, so... Um, so, he was a... Uh, he's my roommate, so when I, he, he wasn't in there by the time I, got, I fell asleep, which was no. like five or six. All right. I'll text him. Uh, he doesn't want to be. It looks like it's running away from us, though. Yes, he is, for sure. Can we zoom out, please? Yeah. Thank you. It's pretty... F oh, okay. Come on. Jane, is that marine snow that we're seeing at the top? It looks like it. Either that or maybe a little bit of um, sediment kicked up from, from her current um, from the ground. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Probably not from Hercules because no, we're moving. We're moving we're going towards too fast. It, yeah. yeah. Bridge now. Five zero zero seven zero, please. It does look like a forest of all those Thank little you. things that you were talking about earlier, Jane. I'm sorry. It looks like a little forest of all those things you were look. Oh, the, the uh, name, sorry. Force? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're interesting. I guess um, in, you know, some types of Xenophyophores can really build these complex, kind of like ripply, almost dome-like structures. It's very cool. But these ones are a bit smaller. How do you spell Xenophyophore? Z, oh sorry, not Z. <laughs> Immediately wrong. <laughs> X E N O P H Y O R E. 
No, no, sorry, hold on. <laughs> I can't do it on the fly. I wrote it down. I can spell it Zoom when I'm phone. typing it. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> X-E-N-O-P-H-Y-O-P-H-O-R-E. It is Z, by the way. It's not Z. Zip it up out of four. Wow. Okay. You gotta do spelling bees, so you gotta say it, spell it, say it again. I know, tell me about Can it. you say it in a sentence, please? <laughs> Look at this xenophonophore. <laughs> I'll look at it. Xenophonophore. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. Nice little urchin. Yeah, just not confuse otherwise, focus in the urchin and then <laughs> <laughs> talk about xenophonophore and mix up a little bit. Somebody vacuuming? There's like a noise coming somewhere. Okay. It reminds me of when I was trying to watch TV when I was a kid and somebody was running the vacuum. Another sponge, Sepedella, probably. This looks slightly different. What's this up here? They want coming. Want to zoom in. in. So slowly. Yeah, this is, would be a different species. So this one, we can see that there is a nice, nice talk instead. Uh, Dad, you said something? I think he's trying to figure out what that sound is. Yeah, there's like a blowing sound. No. I'm not sure what this sponge is. Oh, there it goes. Who is that? Who, who, did someone do something? Someone mute themselves? Yeah, this is a little bit different. Oh. I called down to the lounge to Everything. ask, so maybe they, maybe they hit it by accident. Oh, okay. It does have the kind of that, um, that concave back but where this uh, where it's attached to the stock so we've talked about how calophagus versus bolosoma oh some threads coming down too? yeah i was just looking at it looks like it's trying to reach out to the floor it's like one stock was too <laughs> wasn't uh, enough fragile or something <laughs> and uh, i think the last watch noted this but it does seem like there's a little bit of accumulation of darker nodules around the sponge Sediment i wonder if that's shadow or something. yeah i wonder if that's from organisms coming through and probably maybe brushing some of the sediment off or i think this probably give a little bit more uh, concentration and give more support for this to attach it on it oh so you think that it was like that beforehand and there's denser clusters that they actually attach to yes interesting yeah, that, that would be my my guess in how in this yeah but it seems like also there's there less sediment uh, too right yeah i think that also after the attaching in place that could be more a little bit more a stable uh, Turn the do on. a micro kind Please. of uh, current there that you protect to the sediment um, accumulate in the shadow of the, their their bodies. All right, can we zoom out, please? Okay. We have a lot of guesses in the chat about what that was. I'm sorry? I said we have a couple guesses in the chat about yeah, what Yeah, I was that trying was. to check the guide. Yeah, it's a... No. It's no. No. Oh, no, you don't. No. I mean, it, it has a similar kind of... Concave back There's that track that again. But the yeah. way the fibers of this talk is a little bit different. That's so weird. Do you think it could just be a strange morphology because of maybe a damaged stock or something? And that's yeah, it could be as well. But like, um, and it'd be quite shorter uh, as well. Yeah, that's true. Yes. And thinner or er, thicker rather. Yes, yeah, yes I it do. Looks like more. It looked like it was struggling to stay where Very it wanted channel. to be. 
Shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah. All right, are we back? Let's be back on the shrimp count. I'm into it. No. Oh, okay. We're gonna I, needed, I needed a little moratorium <laughs> on that, but now we're back. We took a break. There's also shrimp. like a, uh, what is the word? You could see some stripes, like the darker stripes of uh, striation. Uh, uh, stri there you go. Thank you. Of uh, like of uh, uh, I see how you. I see what you did there. <laughs> um, of nodules or rocks or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. There was like a. I don't know if anyone saw it, but there was a clear track of divot of some sort, but it didn't look like it was. Yes, now we'll go ahead. Five zero meters zero seven zero. Yeah. Was that the boat navigation? Sounded like it. Yeah. Was that on SPL? Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was. Oh, on when the he talks. Channels. Yeah, I I normally can't hear him. He hasn't he hasn't been talking. Oh, okay. Looks more something like that. The nope, yellow I can't hear. Him. Sorry, which one? Hi, Elena. Right. You say? Um, I mean, looks like for me. Uh, here is there you see? Any images of the backside with where the stock is for those? If you want to start heading towards that new waypoint, Lynette, we don't have to get right on to waypoint five. Sure, you want There's me to cancel that move? Oh, better? Sure. Okay, I'll, I'll also speak up. I'll use my big boy voice. You can do it. Bridge nav. Yes, nav, go ahead. Can we cancel that move and do five zero meters and one one zero? Are How many meters? Five zero meters, one one zero. Five zero meters, one one zero. Thank you. Is the bridge directly talking to me? The bridge is directly talking on SPL. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. He's not as uh as excited today. Every day. It's Monday. It is Monday. I mean, not that that matters. It doesn't. We had yeah. ice cream last night. Yeah. Oh. oh man! Actually, it's, man. Mean, it's like you? six days till ice cream. Huh? <laughs> Why would you bring Why that you up? Because <laughs> I'm still excited about Stop it. Stop living in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Live in the now. Live in the now. <laughs> oh, we were in the we were in the wet lab yesterday. We were processing samples. I included myself in that, even though I wasn't actually doing that. I was just taking pictures of everybody. <laughs> um, and someone someone did something, and we were like, "You're gonna not get your ice cream tonight." Uh -huh. <laughs> I think this was a threat for me. It, it's for just, me. it's so funny because I just said like that's what we do to kids a lot. Like you're not gonna get your ice cream, and then they have a meltdown, and now we understand why. Yeah. Pile <laughs> 30 scientists and engineers and communication fellows onto a boat for three weeks and see how quickly they start <laughs> devolving into a society amongst I themselves with ice cream as a bartering chip. I yeah. will yeah. find the ice, ice cream. Ice cream currency. Yeah. Yeah. In the lounge, if you see it, there's a there's a glass that says break in case of emergency, and it's just a conch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a conch. Yeah, just in case things I thought you were saying it was ice cream scoop. Just, just in case it gets real Lord of the Flies over here. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you for getting it. I, I hated that book. It's got, like, dehydrated ice cream behind it in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Rehydrate in case of emergency. <laughs> I'm still hearing a little bit of surprisingly with warm water. <laughs> What's what? <laughs> That's what makes it weird, right? Yes, I'll go ahead. Yes. <laughs> they invited me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> You're invited. You're invited. We like you. Okay. You might get some questions. <laughs> Actually, that'd be a great thing to take advantage of. I'm, I'm a little nervous. It's my first time. Uh, Welcome. Uh, broadcasting, uh, okay? Welcome. <laughs> Give me time. Give me time. Uh, all right, Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Should have uh, have them introduce themselves. Maybe. It's not a bad idea. Bridge, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's the first time I've, I would have expected you to say yes. <laughs> You're not shy. Come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me get you one. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, hello team, this is the bridge speaking. And I will cast in all the 
the people and I will say something about of what we are searching or looking by the aerobic camera. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you, Bridge. Thanks, Bridge. My name is Paul Kennedy. <laughs> no. I used to like this ship. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, there's a question in the chat. Is that a reference to Avengers with the conch or? The conch? Yeah. Oh, no, that was the Lord, Lord of the Flies. Oh, that's what it was. Sorry. Biggie. I really didn't like that book. Maybe it's because I was forced to read it in school. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, Anything you're forced to do as a kid, right? <laughs> yeah. Which is ironic. You know, given the subject matter. Oh, someone in the chat voted that the, that the bridge deserves an extra scoop of ice cream today. <laughs> if that only we had it today. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we all deserve an extra scoop yeah. of ice cream I mean, today. Yeah, too, too bad it's put away. It. <laughs> <laughs> if only someone could put it back out. If only someone knew where it was. Just don't tell Mike because he'll get there before dinner and eat it all. I, well, first, okay. <laughs> That's not what happened, but... That's exactly what happened. I'm gonna move past it, because I don't live in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over it. Be a goldfish. Sorry, Jane. Actually, the, I was checking here in the guide, um, the possible with name also, well, the identification for the previous sponge is still yeah, a there. Bit still live in the past. It's Cory, Cory Nonema. Oh, yeah. Another Cory, interesting. Cory... Cory Phenoides? No. no. Cory no Nima. Cory no Nima? Yeah, okay. in English. Cory no name? That's what I heard that. too. Cory no name? All right, thank you. I will add that in. Yeah, that's still a Hyla Nima family? I don't know, it I'm is. not sure. It's, it's between parts. I don't know if it was a review, revision and it is the two. Oh, or, okay. Yeah. Got it. Or oh, well, it was previous. Cory no Nima and now it's assigned. Okay. Yellow Nima. Awesome. Thank you. Here, keep you busy. Oh, thank gosh. You're welcome. Whoa! Uh oh. I just gave him, like, a fidget spinner. <laughs> to keep him busy. I was like, for what a is while. happening up there? <laughs> I thought you were letting him drive. We don't drive, we fly. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Panos, we have a request from Scientist Ashore. Can you please put the HiPack screen into Sat Feed 3? The hi oh, that's the um, nav. Uh, yeah. I think it's um, a. I don't even know if I have access to it. Bridge nav. Yes, now go ahead. Hey, can we move? Five zero meters. Uh, one, one, what's the high box frame? Five zero meters, one one zero. Thank you. Wh which PC would that be, Dwight? Uh, it's called um, high pack survey. Uh, it's, I, I don't know which PC. Pipe I think serve shrimp. It's, a, it's definitely one of them because it's on in the lounge. Uh. It's usually PC3, I think, but I think that gets changed a lot, so I'm not uh, sure. You're broadcast northern easting? Oh, that's not right. That's not the right one? No. Uh, you want, there, that's the one. You want uh, PC1. Oh, what? Oh, my suggestion got... Look at that. Oh. Thank you. Well, I, my, they do read the suggestion box. This makes me happy. Zoom in a little yep, bit. I see it. It's good. Thank you. Yeah, just for everyone's awareness, we decided to deviate a little bit from the dive plan where now going to that's progress downslope a little bit into this basin that's uh, sort of to the, to the east and southeast of where we are. And then uh, after we investigate that for an hour or so, we're going to climb the mountain uh, towards the summit. 
we're a little bit ahead of schedule on the dive track, so we can wow. take a little time to uh, deviate. That feels like a first. We it can is change. a first, I think. <laughs> All right, we are cooking with gas. Ladies and gentlemen, here is boring. That's part of our exploration. <laughs> so there's nothing here. My first time broadcasting, and I have nothing on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> You don't like rocks? What's wrong I with rocks? Like, I like rocks. <laughs> I, like, I like rocks, I like lines, I like uh, sponges, I like uh, sea pens. Ah. I like um, sea sea fish that sometimes. Can you zoom in? I saw the highlight uh, of the Dumbo. Oh, there is something. There is something. Oh, my goodness. That was huge. What is that? Yeah, that first one they saw was really big. That's another Holothurian. Wonder if this one will start to fly away. Fly he's away. He's tilting. He's tilting. Fly away. No. All right, can we come wide, please? There's another one of those. Yep, another Xena 5 for it's Actually, it's a field of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do have a scoop for collecting nodules. We do want to do that. We did at get some a. Point. I think we do have a scoop already from kind of the other side of the saddle. I believe it was taken 141. Oh, I thought the scoop was Let me empty. Double check that. Uh, Am I wrong? I don't think we've used our scoop. No. Is that from a different? Cruise? Yeah, they, well, they collected Different nodules cruise. with the claw. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's yeah, uh, our scoop is not, hasn't been moved. My mistake. <laughs> yeah, they were a little larger. Yeah, they're, the they're scoop is right there on the porch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, there's a couple of rocks on the it's okay. on the porch, too, right in front of the cameras. Oh, yeah. It's not a big deal. They're not big enough to get up on That was from up grabbing, on grabbing nodules with the claw. The few of them dropped out. So... Yeah. Can we come down. Uh, so one thought is we can do that scoop later after we get down, down into this area, or yeah. or now it doesn't matter. I, I've been following along. Okay. Oh, wait. Um, let's uh, get up ahead a little oh, bit, no. and then it'll give us some time to. Uh, uh, we to need take a. Scoop. Uh, what? I am what? Not, I'm not getting communication. On my big screen here. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. We we don't have to get the oh there, the nodule sorry. scoop. We don't have to get the nodule scoop now. We have time. Okay. Yours isn't updating. You want to refresh the... I just did. Oh, okay. Um, hmm, let's try okay. it again. It's not the worst thing. I can still follow the... I got a delta depth on the GUI. You can... Yes. You can um, look over at mine if you want. Yeah. But, uh... Interesting. Good Tim about that, yeah. No sea pens, huh? So far, no, but we, who knows? I mean, the next hour or so. I love the positivity, how you said. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Maybe Just if we chant sea pens, we'll find one. A few sponges. Not much else. That we can see. Polythorian. There it is. What Why is it doing that? Let's zoom in, Panos. Online. Yeah, that's interesting. Is that a psychonophore? Yeah. Don't know. Ooh. Ooh. It is. That's it's cool. Okay, yeah. well, that's going to go to. T that's a good markdown. Hey, stop moving. I know. It's. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. Much stop of a photo swimming. I'm going to try to follow it if I'll you try. can. Yeah. Get a little bit tighter zoom. I don't know if we've seen red interior like that before, have we? Yeah, that's interesting. Very cool. Small. Yes, very small. Mike, can you turn on the down lights? Yeah. Por favor. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't seen one like that before, really. I've never seen one at the bottom. I've seen them on descent. 
Wasn't there one above uh, the oxygen minimum zone? I've never seen them down here. Wasn't there like a pretty popular video from the Nautilus a few years back of a siphonophore kind of moving across the the benthic surface? Yeah, oh, that's a nice frame up there. Good. Yeah, we encounter them now and then along the bottom. Kind of a purplish one. Usually on descent, though. You're right. I don't understand why it's doing that. Very cool. We're kind of waiting for Atalanta, so um, let me know when you're happy because we could follow this guy for a while. Bridge now. Yeah. Bridge now, go ahead. Uh, same step, please. Five zero one one zero. Very cool. Five zero one one zero. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, nice flying. Thank you. You can really see the siphons now. Yeah. Are those for movement? Do they funnel water through a, a digestive tract of some kind, or they? We need Leela here for the <laughs> siphonophore talk. <laughs> Let's see. Are these? Yeah, they're colonial bird. For instance, most of uh, if you consider corals, they have mostly one type of uh, polyp. Uh, C-Pen will be a different one that has different pulps for different uh, functions and siphonophore also you're going to have different parts. Keep it zoomed in, keep it zoomed in. Try to, try to come up and see if we can get a better zoom on his head. So each part of the siphonophore wow. has, a, has a particular job, is, is what you're saying? Not each part, but some of that you see, they, they you have different functions if you see the, the different parts, yeah. That is a great shot. Yeah, nice yeah really well nice. done, guys. All right, we do have to get going, though. Yeah. Let's zoom out. Yeah, no, beautiful, thanks so much. Oh, you had time. Now we're coming up too, though. We're five meters up, four meters up. This is strange that it's only happening to me. Well, yes, it is. Um, it's changed. The numbers have changed. Did it? No, they it, haven't. I thought I saw 1.3 when I looked over last. Oh, for the altitude? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Um, I I know. Maybe something. Where to go, where to go, where to go. No. No, there's a... There's, there used to be an option here where you like, it's like an update time. Oh, right. The refresh rate? Yeah. But when I refresh it, it should change. It should. And it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, um, there's another one of those. Yeah. Um, it's like a crease. Oh yeah, the uh, track or whatever. Yeah. It's these are so weird. Aliens. Aliens. Yep. Yeah. Must be. That's the only explanation, really. <laughs> We're the only aliens here. True. So we we did it before we it's came us. here? Yes, apparently. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How fast are we going? <laughs> so fast we went back in time. Something I'm wondering is our depth right now is 2,595 meters, and it seems like we don't really start to see too many sponges and corals until we get a little bit higher. Is that is that true, Jane, or is that just something I'm? Yeah, um, I think the other day we only saw that our first coral on our last dive site at like 2,290 meters. Yeah. Um, and I think you know there's a, a bunch of limitations further you further are below that that. that Yep. They kind of limit the um, the existence of corals, some of which is, you know, temperature factors, um, food availability, you know, closer to the surface, you have 
more things sinking and, and being delivered to those areas. So uh, further down in the water column, it's even <coughs> a sparser food availability, but also temp temperature limitations are, are something that, that can uh, prevent corals. It's not to say that there aren't corals that grow deeper than that. There are some specialists in, um, in those groups, but yeah, by and large, corals tend Let's to be denser, a little bit um, zoom, zoom. shallower. Heisa, is it true that black corals grow a little bit deeper in general? Um, I think not. Uh, black corals will be the the deepest record uh, yeah. for corals. So that is record for more than 5,000 meters depth uh, or even more. And so indeed that is this uh, depends where you are, depends on the current and the sediment, you can find uh, higher all the way? abundance yes, sir, diversity all the way. in some depth. But uh, in fact, we can find in all kinds of... Uh, in different depths. Depth. So yeah, it's just specific to this well. area, maybe, that we're not seeing too many. Hold, hold that for a little bit longer, if you can. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was going to get closer. Oh, great. Yeah. Would you thanks. like a better shot? Yeah, yeah let's uh, zoom out a little bit, please. So I think I read a review paper about black corals saying that the reason that they tend to be a little bit deeper than other species is they've been somewhat outcompeted in the shallower depth zones um, and uh, they're able to colonize here. a little okay, deeper so they, they took advantage of that and and tend to be um, that makes sense you know more able to survive at different depths but they're also found very shallow you said that you've seen black corals in like a couple centimeters of water at the in the coastal areas, right? Uh, no, it's uh, sea pens actually. Oh, sea pens, excuse me. Yeah, so it's really very few centimeters. Uh, Hanila or Renila, depends how it's pronounced. Yeah, go ahead, Bono. Um, Let me know if you want the laser on or off. Uh, so you can let me turn it on. Catching up here with Zoom as much as, the you, as you can. Of the scientists, so. so just holding something at the base. So. Just going to try and see if there's a little Ah, okay. Do you want me to recap the, the science chat? Uh, yes, please, because it would be better. Yeah, so Chris Kelly, one of our scientists ashore, is giving us a little bit more information on that sponge we saw maybe 20 minutes ago that had some thread-like structures coming down on the side that was not the stock. It almost looked like they were kind of flowing down back towards the substrate. Um, and so they say that that sponge may have actually been a different type called the general name for the genus of the of this sponge is like the catcher's mitt sponges. Um, similar in some respects to what we might have guessed it was, which was the Corinema, Corinonema, excuse me. Uh, but this one is actually a Sericolophus sponge, which is a little bit different. Yeah. Catcher's mitt sponge. I, lo I love the common names for the, the sponges. They're very intuitive. Yeah, yeah. Catcher's mitt. I do have to give a shout out to the chat because several people called that one too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well done. And uh, she completes saying that the Sericolophus... I think that's a good, it's good. zoom. You guys, right. thank you. Wide, please? So I don't know that we've seen on. sponges like that so far Please. Yeah. on this ex expedition, maybe during yeah. watches that I wasn't on, but. Yes, now go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm not sure because I haven't watched out the- 100 the meter 110. But definitely, I think that one was the one that uh, pre the previous shift uh, collected. Things are so weird. Those are okay, tracks. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Like, what is going on here? Something has been here before. We need to follow those lines. Yes. Follow the lines, yeah. says Britt. That's a signal. It's the yellow brick road. Somebody yeah. brought their... That looks That's like tire tracks right there. I yeah, it does. Somebody peeled out. I prefer to follow those lines than the mapping lines. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe those are the like the lateral and longitude lines? Oh, like on a oh, map? Yeah. Like on a map. I think uh, that's what it is. Right. Uh, yeah, those are hard to find those. in the wild. <laughs> Must be what it is. It has to be. Oh, this is great. Somebody in the chat says Chris Kelly agreed with me. <laughs> 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 um, somebody also asked for the cinema cam earlier, and that one is not currently on, so that's why it's not on the quad view today. Can you zoom in there? 
We are just as disappointed. Yeah, I, I really like, like our that cinema one. cam. What is Ooh. that? What do we have here? Oh, uh, we saw an anemone that looked like this earlier. Oh. Mm. A little different, though. A little chunky stock. Yeah. Thick little guy. Tube anemone, I guess. It looks like it's growing on a nodule. Looks like a wombus. A wombus? It is. It found one of the larger nodules to uh, use watch on to. Another sponge in the distance there. Yeah. Steve thinks it may be a solitary zoanthurium. I don't think you had the leash. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Sorry, I can give you a couple meters. Yes, you can. I say you can't. I don't think you can make it because I don't even see it. It's right here. It's right in right where the lasers are. Yeah, but that's kind of far. It's not that far. We start zooming in. Looks similar to the one we just saw. Semperella or Euplectella? Not sure. There is quite a bit of current down here. That's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thaisa, for sea pens, would you find them more likely in like a soft sediment with fewer nodules, or would nodules not? I mean, would that prevent or discourage sea pens from growing at all, or would it uh, give more anchoring that would actually attract them? Do you have thoughts on that? Uh, usually, the most of the sea pens, you prefer more fine sediment, uh. um, but depends which species it is. Like I said, vanilla was very coarse sand, and there is a few in some areas I have dived or have been. Uh, but also we have the rock pens that's part of the sea pens that they, they modify their distal parts like where they anchor. So they can, they modify their peduncle, that, that's the muscular peduncle, yes. uh, and manage to, to attach in hard substrate. We saw sometimes, I see some pictures um, that would be more not so gravel as here, but we, we never know if maybe we, we, we could find. Um, so the, the fact that we change a little bit of a route to go to the more um, plain area there is to see if there is a difference in sediment where we could find a sea and another organism that's more... Um, zoom in there, Pons? So Hey Nav, I think I'd like to modify our track a little so we don't go so far away from the wall. So maybe from here, due east. East, okay. And sure. then come into that same contour, sort of, that waypoint five one is. Okay. Yeah, to the sure. north, so, so we don't go farther south. Yeah. Yep. A lot of interesting sponges here. Bridge, Nav. Yes, Nav, go ahead. Can we hold position here? Hold position. Mm -hmm and then put in a move uh, for five zero meters east, please. Five zero meters east. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Navigator, I can't believe you're no, having all it. this entertainment by yourself for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it just, yeah, <laughs> just me and Lynette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Okay. All right, can we come wide, please? All right, east. So, for instance, we are here. We see that there is uh, this sponge, kind of that we haven't seen before much, at least, and um, it's quite present in, in this, and also few Oloturians and but then that ones will be more mobile, so we can find them almost everywhere. We have an interesting question in the chat. It says, how would people look for animals that live under or on the seabed? Any thoughts? 
Uh, we, in previous jobs, we've had, so they called it a ray fin. It was essentially just a stills camera that we mounted on the porch looking directly down. And then we did transects at a constant altitude of like half a meter to a meter above the seafloor. And they're just taking pictures and trying to see what was living in the sediment. And stuff. Oh, cool. So transects, you mean like mowing the lawn, kind of going yes. back and forth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, it was really boring. <laughs> and then we got to see the photos and like there's lots of stuff living there you just couldn't see it yeah this was in the, the ccz sorry ccz yeah please translate for us is that canada <laughs> no that's the it's c canadian for ccz <laughs> clarion clipperton zone yes. oh. um which is an area that's of high interest for um deep sea mining of, of nodules so polymetallic looks, nodules oh, okay. looks exactly like this uh, yeah. nodules for everywhere as far as you can see speaking but of it is teeming with life there is yeah. so much life down there hmm. speaking of nodules um, Steve recommends that we collect one of the sponges whole nugget sponges he called them which I appreciate um, just because they seem to be characteristic of this area uh, well let me know if you see one yeah we'll try and point and out a good one to collect yeah. whole. is that the catcher's mid sponges um no, I think it was the last no. two that we saw. Oh, different. Got one of the question mark Semperella sponges. Semperella, Semperella. All the time it's Semperella. <laughs> Thank you. You're at the end there. Ooh, a twofer. Good, good, good I like idea. the idea. Yeah. Why not, right? Will, will the sponge stay okay in the bag? Yeah. Yeah. Now we just scoop they the whole thing up? Yeah, we'll grab a bunch of nodules in the scoop and get the sponge at the same time, hopefully. Sounds good. <coughs> we can find one. Of course, we have to find one first. Mm -hmm. uh, there, it looks like there's some to the like there's something to the right, maybe. So if you. I'm gonna come up a little bit. The last watch said they did see a um, Dumbo octopus in Adelino's view, so I'm kind of keeping an eye out up there. Oh yeah, they're just yeah. seeing them left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, not upset uh, about it. Not of course at all. they did. Fine, of course whatever. they did. I think they, they only did. saw it in the Atlanta camera, though. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, that's what yeah. we were saying. I heard they, so they barely gold. saw it. <laughs> sounds made up. I, found, I heard they found <laughs> gold. <laughs> Don't trust them. <laughs> 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 it's a shipwreck. Whale falls times six. Yeah. Yeah. Oh look, a sperm whale. In the process, like he was falling. Yeah, we just, we <laughs> saw it hit the ground. It was yeah. it was it was going. It tripped and then it fell. <laughs> Whales can't trip. That we <laughs> that we know of. How do you trip while swimming? Huh? How do you trip while swimming? You're clearly not a clumsy person. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I just, explain. I, I just can't. I can't make the connection. I know it's one of those weird things. That's why I'm a physicist. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's that what your research papers <laughs> on? Uh, yes, I right. ways to. S I'm <laughs> excited ways to hear to what your advisor thinks about that. That's what I've been trying to do. Yeah. Well, he didn't get the extension, so. <laughs> <laughs> so unfair. Because it's important work. <laughs> Ground breaking, right? Exactly. Or water breaking in this case. This is pretty water breaking. We've no one has ever been here before. Well, someone think, made those tracks. I think that's cool. Well, it wasn't us. It wasn't people. That we know of. That we know of. Sponges are people, too. OK. All right. <laughs> uh -oh. Simmer down back there. a great there. debate. <laughs> Just less dramatic. <laughs> you know, SpongeBob. Hey. Oh, that's right. I like Patrick myself. Wow, so as soon as we say we want to try and collect one of these sponges, we as soon as we stop seeing them entirely. Well, maybe they're smarter than so I think they now are. Yeah, see? Us. It gives us a mission. I heard us. We have a job to do. All right, I got a feeling about this way. What's that? That's a way for me. Oh, uh -huh. might. Struck, we won't have enough time. Struck gold. If you you're, did. You're no, oh, it's just a little bit. We'd have more time if you, uh, we could stop the ship. It's if you fine. fell into the track. Well, because we would still have the swing. Bridge no, but there's no sponges yeah, over there. Well this is like the only position, one we've please. seen. Hold position. Thank you. 
Alright. I can give you a meter. You can give me five. Uh, well, technically, because of uh, Pythagorean theorem, <laughs> I could only give you like three and a half, or three square root two. Well, it hangs straight down. We don't need to involve ancient Greeks in this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was I right? Three square root two? I don't know. Let me see. I wasn't no, actually no, following, no. A man, following your math. Yeah, hold on. I don't know Fresh how far map. away you are. Yeah, now go ahead. Can we have three zero meters west, please? Three zero meters west. Thank you. Nice array of nodules here. Yeah. It'd be great to get a zoom on it before we collect the Sure, possible, yeah, please. sorry. Go ahead, Thanos. do this one and then you can uh, no no by all means it and then fabulous, you can do thank the you. stuff after don't worry about it i like the arm work okay uh you have valve engaged thank you got comms we'll think about what uh box to put it into yeah we'll, we can put it in uh starboard e nice yeah Uh, let me get the other side for you. You may want to grab it like uh, the top and not necessarily the bar if you don't want. Might be easier with this because of the sponge. Let's see, maybe we should uh, hang, hang on, on one sec, guys. Hang on a sec, yeah. Hold on. There's some question as to whether this is the right, the best specimen. It might be more of a common species than some of the other ones we've been seeing. Uh, you want to zoom Roger in? that. Yeah. Zoom back in if you like. Are we looking for the ones that are like are on, or? Not breach. Contemplating, guys. Keep the zoom. Now, do you copy? Yeah, go ahead, Bridge. Can I just head in more north? Yes, of course. Okay, I will. Yeah, I think we, sh we can go ahead and collect this. We'll probably um, stay on the lookout for another collection later, but this is, oh, <laughs> wait, changing my mind. <laughs> um, looks like we'll wait for another. Yeah. We already have, let's see, one sponge. Yeah, we already have one sponge up there. What kind? Yes, now go ahead. Can we hold position. Hold position. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we will look for another more suitable specimen. This one looks like the. Um, Can we zoom out, please? A more common Semperella sponge. We're looking for one that's a little bit less clearly. Uh, Identific and identifiable, I guess, is the term for it. And we all already have a Semperella already collected by the last oh, we watch, do. too. Well, likely Semperella. That's what it was identified as post facto. Right. Sorry, Lynette, if you can get us back moving on that previous uh, track, that would oh, be great. Of course. Bridge now. Yes, now go ahead. Five zero meters east. So as Five far as you differ from <laughs> the Cimperella and the other one, that's probably Eterodella or from the subfamily Euplectiline. On east, what's that? Looks like it's more full and there is a little bit of um, yeah part in the front. I don't know if. Are you talking about I'm the catcher's mitt one? Oh, there's a shrimp. Yeah, so now our, our mission is uh, escalated here. We're looking for a different kind of sponge. That looks like the same to me. Okay, yeah. I know, zoom these out. are hard to differentiate visually. Can we just zoom to see if there is any associates there? Sure. Oh, 
come wide, please. Thank you. All right, now you can zoom in. Yeah, I logged in just fine. You're logged in, yeah. Is your GUI still frozen? Uh, yeah. Well, the I've just, that's for yeah. the, the video, right? Is it the? Um. Yeah, probably there is something where we c we can't see. So this yeah. one is different because it it's looks perfect. to be Thank attached so to a nodule as opposed to in the. Was the other one attached to a nodule? I just didn't see it. Well, it didn't look like it was. Zero. Unless the nodule was like, unless Very it was small. covering it yeah. entirely. And yeah, it was or like more side. on the other side from where we were facing. Yeah. But it did not look upon a first glance. Start zooming in. This to me, you just looks similar to Semperella. Not this one? If we could zoom a little bit in the base. Yeah. It's full zoom there. Full zoom. Okay. Yeah. Get us closer if you'd like. And zoom out. Just to, I don't know if you have access there, but we collect one of what looks like Semperella in the previous shift, is that? That, yes. Right. So okay, there so was a collection, I think Annabelle did it, and she did a great job. Um, that was half of a white sponge, but we also were hoping to get a full specimen this time. Okay. I guess I'm starting to get a little bit confused as to what our target exactly looks like. Okay. okay. We might we might want a collection of this sponge here. Apparently. Bridge Stop the ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry for all the back and forth. It would help if I unmuted my mic. Can you uh, zoom out, please? Thank you, sir. Bridge nav. Bridge now, go ahead. Can we hold position here? Hold position here. And move three zero meters west, please. Three zero meters west. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Zigging and zagging. Zigging and zagging all day long. Zigging and zagging while I sing this song. All right, then I'll, okay, let's do this quickly. Scoop or just a grab? We'll do scoop. Scoop. Scooping. Ah, uh, can you, uh, craft? I got it. There we go. Now it'll work. Can 
you imagine how relieved that other sponge is? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. Like, you can imagine the sigh of relief. Yeah, so try to get a good number of nuggets in there first, and, we'll, sure. and then get the sponge last. Get the bag out of the way, there we go. Can you try zooming in on Atlanta? Yeah, I'll zoom in. Ah, that's as good, right there. Nice scoop. Shake out some dust. Do you, yeah. want, do you want more nodules? Yeah, sure. Another scoop? Go for the sponge at the end of this push so you don't, Sounds maybe good. we won't get clouded over. Look at Herc, hard at work. Nice. Come oh, on, don't push the vehicle. Oh, I'm not gonna get it. Uh oh, uh oh. That's all right, we're gonna get it. Current's kind of blowing in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's plenty of nodules. All right. That's a big shrimp in Atlanta. It's in there. Oh. Ah, the nodule saved it. Thank nice. you, nodule. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Uh, brilliant. All right, Good starboard job. box. Starboard E, please. This is sample 150. Oh, wait. Uh, it should be fine, right? We don't need to turn off the vert. No, it's heavy. But uh, it's not going to, I mean, if you spin it, I guess the sponge won't. <laughs> No, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the bag in first. All right. Just make sure it's kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You have it. Okay. Pop it out. Yeah. E. You say. Is that good, or you want more? No, that should be all right. And let go. Is this one four seven? One five zero. Oh wow. All right, I think that's. I think that's okay. <coughs> uh, I think it'll go down as you close the lid. Yeah, that's, oh, that's fine. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, coming around. Are you in the clear? You are in. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah. You go ahead and close the box. It's a nice view of the mechanical arm from Atlanta. Right? Yeah, that was cool. That was very useful, actually. Yeah. Bridge now. Yes, now we'll hit. And that's frozen. Meters east, please. Yeah, hydraulics are off. Hydraulics are off. Turn off the valve. Let's get rid of that ground fault too. There we go. You want to do some flying? Uh, no, I'm good. You sure. It's uh, it's pretty benign. If you want to get some stick time, it's up to you. Uh, I'm not gonna make you. Man. Well, okay. Well, you let me know if you change your mind. Okay. You can jump in at any point. James, you know the. Um 
toys at parks where they like scoop sand. Did you ever? That was my childhood. I was going to say, <laughs> that's exactly what that reminded me of. <laughs> Moving dirt from here to there, and then you moved it from there to here. So what do you think? Do you want to try to go deeper, or it looks like it's really Can you zoom out, out please, on the Atlanta? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can go a little bit deeper. Perfect. Thank over you. to here, uh, maybe. Starboard bucket is open. You know that, right? All the way to here. Oh, right. But it's Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, yeah, no, no. Uh, you can zoom in there. <laughs> well, we maybe we'll Looks use like the Atlanta's view to <laughs> close the box. We haven't changed much since we, we started. I know. It's so slow now. Well, I guess it's always been kind of slow. Yeah, sub C, it's always slow. Okay, that's good. That's so great. We could, um, that was too quick to turn off the lights and stuff. We're over here now. I should have caught that. Thank you, Panos. So the next move is to go up. It's a team effort. Go up to there or something. It's a team effort. We get but a lot of questions on ship to shores about the lights from Hercules. This is a good image of that sure from Atalanta. But more. I think we have time if there's something else to look at while we're down here. It's up to you. What is that? Ah. No, because now we are just Ooh. going a little the bit shrimp. more lower. It's a white right shrimp. Now. Okay. Just keep Maybe swimming. down. Just keep yeah. Just keep on swimming. Okay. And if you, if you see the He's trying so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's and like. Then, <sighs> then we can turn. I just Where can't am swim I going? Away. Hmm. All right, I'll leave this guy alone. I think he's pretty scared. Sorry, Lynette, we were just having another discussion about the next move, but we're good. Uh, keep heading east. Okay. To that Sounds spot good. we talked about north of. Uh, All right, going east. One. Okay. Mm, no. We're getting a message in the chat about some of the feedback from the bridge. Is it possible to keep that mic muted up there? Is that? Is there like a... Lynette, do you know if, if you can mute? Um, I can ask... Oh, shrimp. Oh. Did there something here? Oh. Uh, head up. Nope, no mute. Okay, thank you. What happened with my mic line? <laughs> yes. I think it was just a visual. Doesn't see the. I'm not sure there's anything there. Am I looking in the right spot? No. Yes. No. Oh. Pardon? That's a little bit better. I just right. got used to it. That's crazy. What? Uh. I guess like the fan up there. Oh. Yeah, it was the feedback uh, from the bridge. We're going here. Instead of going. Just Another shrimp. Hmm. Turn the down lights yeah. on. Wow. So cute. Look at those feet. <laughs> He's like right in the vehicle. All right. Goodbye. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Someone in the chat said, didn't the Discovery Channel prove that mer people were real? And that's my vote for the track. Depends how you identify. We are on a mission to find some sea pens today. The sea pen is minor than the sea sword. Than the sea sword, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> Well, next time you want to fight, I'll bring a sword. You can have as many pens as you want. <laughs> I'll get one of those James Bond pens. Those ones that explode? That's not a pen. <laughs> That's a mini stick of dynamite. We're just uh, a little strung out here, so we got to slow down and let Adeline to catch us. How big is this basin that we're in? It's pretty, looks pretty big. Oh. Yeah, we are tight. Got a 
quiet today. I think we're just doing some nodule meditation here. Don't you just want to rake it? Yeah, someone earlier said, can Hercules <laughs> carve the pilot's name? <laughs> now I want to do that. Initials. <laughs> write my initials in the sand. They'll be here for all eternity. And then it like, you know, discovers, come back down. I was like, oh, what's this? The sedimentation rate of what? Like two centimeters every 200 years or something? Yeah. Probably even less. Yeah. The, the CCZ, the scientists on board, saying it was about an inch for a thousand years. Wow. So they're saying if they go down and mine it, it would be like 15,000 years before the area would be able to recover. Interesting. I was like, hmm. The other watch has been on a lookout for the sea sasquatch. Ah, the sea sasquatch. The sea squatch. Sea squatch. Sea squatch. You saw him or in the aqua distance. Or aquasquatch. Aquasquatch. Hydrasquatch. 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 It's a Sam Squanch, Tricky. <laughs> Ooh, is that Trailer Park Boys? <laughs> yeah, I love that joke. Love that joke. It's Canada's best export. <laughs> R.I.P. Oil, lady. nah. <laughs> Timber, nah. Trailer Park Boys. What's that in the distance? Stock or something. Yeah. Maybe we can get I there. Don't, I don't see it. There's also a couple down closer, but don't worry about it. I don't see what. There's little dots. Oh, there's like a mound. What? Where? Straight ahead. Oh, yeah, that's where I'm going. I know, but there's a thing, and then there's like another mound before it. I see it. We like little mounds. You're, you're crazy. Things. Don't, don't be ghost dun, typing dun, me or whatever dun, it is. Dun, 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 dun. Pull, 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 tug, tug, tug. Does this look like the same sponge we saw earlier? That can't be. Not he's in, he's in a scoop. Huh. Maybe this, maybe not. Oh, yeah, we got to sit down. I'm turning. Turning you around there, Mike. There's something on the right. This also. Yeah. There's yeah. a dead sponge. Is a dead sponge for a different species, looks like. Yeah, uh, it does, yeah. yeah. Well, you can zoom in a little bit. Do they fight? Like, are they like, uh, I'm going to assume like... Is this a battle scene? Oh, I wonder if one of those other areas of darker nodules is where that... That was a ferret. That's a yeah, ferret, it's a ferret. Uh, skeleton. Is it yeah, it's a different ferret. Um, do they like compete for resources in any way? Uh, probably if they're growing right next to each other. Com for a uh, uh, of different species, or even same species. Um, I don't know. This looks like the concave. Yeah. You can see the more concave. Oh, we knew we should have waited to collect. Oh, <laughs> oh there's like a mucus or something on the back. Or like I think that, uh, that or uh, oh, there's a little hydroid perhaps or a tube anemone behind it. Yeah, but the, in the associates That's here, the I don't know if it's or other. It's possible to zoom a little bit more in these little dots. Sure. We have to go closer. Yeah, we zone. can do that. Oh, there's, a shr there's something inside. <laughs> Yes, oh, yes there is. <laughs> yeah, we'll hop forward, try again. Yeah. Uh, I can give you a meter, maybe. Just uh, get a view of the porch so that I don't run into it. Shrimp, what are we up to now? It's got to be like 10. Um, I think we're actually at 15. Nice. But I have to add, I have to update it. Can we turn the down lights on, please? Down lights on. All right, go ahead, Panos. There looks to be an enemy in, in that stuff in the back. Can be a tube and in, and Yeah, I was... That can be a city Ontario. Remember we were seeing a bunch of 
these things at the bases of some of the other sponges Can yesterday too? Yeah. Tiny pink here that's yellow as well. I can't remember. Were those the um, tubularian? Oh. Maybe this is uh, another egg sac. Or uh, a tenophore. Think, yeah, it could be one of those associate tenophores. But I don't see the. Uh, it's difficult to see. It's not really focus. Looks like. Yeah. Or could you try to focus on the red? On. Uh, I don't know. It, it's it's coming out. It's like coming at us. Is it? Yeah, because uh, like you could see how it's like kind of parallaxed in the bubble. Oh, it's fading. So I want to say that it's it might be coming at us a little. But I, I don't know which. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that. Oh, whatever it is, it's moving. Oh yeah. Oh wow. It is definitely moving. Scale worm. Can we lower the iris a little bit? More ten of four, I, I, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You got, a lot. you got more slack if you need to move forward. Uh, I can I can move up about a foot, but it's it's really low, so then we're we get a like we're gonna get a bad angle on it. I don't know if it'd be beneficial. It would look more like that, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I don't know if it's a bit star there is something yellow behind. So there is a kind of a micro Yeah community there. It's a little neighborhood. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And probably who supports these probably will be the sponge. Finish the, uh, yeah. the feature yeah. for yeah. Well. her would be like, you know, kind of go upside down a little. That's Change your... Uh, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Roll. Just roll. Yeah. Good on the roll. Zoom. Thank you. Did we decide what we thought that little purpley blip on the right side of the sponge was? No, I don't think we... If it's possible for us to go around, it would be brilliant. But the, with the view we had, there is no way for us to identify. <laughs> uh, probably, ah, yeah. That's interesting to see a dead ferraid skeleton on the seafloor. We haven't seen any ferraid sponges. Otherwise, not since the watch started, anyhow. I remember our first dive, like now looking back, it, we saw a lot of those dive Game more. So you can can you zoom in, Pamos? Oh, there's more. Ooh, ah. Oh, there's like a snail. Oh, oh it's a snail. it is. Wow. Interesting. Are those, are those other ones slugs? I think those are still, I believe those are the tenophores. I. They kind of look like uh, the things that are in plants, little, little not mites. Oh, um, the things that ladybugs eat. Aphids. Aphids? Is that what yes. you're going for? Yes, aphids, yes. Bringing out my farm knowledge here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> cool. Isopods, says Paula. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. I need to find my pocket microscope. Can we get some pictures? I miss looking at things. Can we come wide, please, Honos? Thank you, Paula. Are you going to make another pivot? No, I was uh, going to, well, I had to pivot, I'm going to have to pivot to get that partial turnout, but go back to where we were. It's interesting there. Yeah, I think the next time if you collect, it'll be nice. If it's possible. Well, we're like still here. Do you. Associate. Do you want to get the Do snail too? Do you want too? this? Cause Slurp the snail and the, and the It'd be easier just to get this than to find it again. I... Yeah. Why I not? I think we... That's really There's not much else really biology yeah. in the area. Might as well. We could do a slurp, right? Yeah. Uh, slurp 4 is available. Oh, uh, well, are we trying... Off? Are we just trying to get the... Oh, are you trying the to get the associates? Too? I don't know if... Um, just mm. check Paula, if you are listening, because you are interesting the eyes of boats as well. We don't have a s the snail yet either. Yeah, the snail as well. Yeah, for sure. To, if you, you zoom in. It'd be nice sure to get a piece of the sponge because it's nice to have the associate sure. uh, the host of what it is. So. Yeah, the problem is if we don't, we could snip and slurp maybe. Or maybe we should slurp the associates first and then go for a snip of the sponge. That sounds Yeah, that would work. Yeah. 
How are you feeling, Mike? You want to try or do you want me to do it? We don't need the whole sponge uh, for the... No, I think we're, we're moving slowly, right? so I can give it a try. I'll, I'll try to go real fast. No, don't don't go fast. We you got know what um, I mean? the yeah. I know, yeah. money and slurp samples. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. So the idea is to get the associates first and then slurp and then snip and slurp the oh, sponge, so correct? Did yeah. something get turned Yes, uh, I'm racking in, I'm racking in. Do we want that hydroid or whatever it was behind it as well? Um, what I think just I happened? I don't know. Um, okay, it had that failure mode thing that they were yes. talking about. Uh, give us a second real quick. We seem to have a craft th issue. Take your it time. Decided to salute. <laughs>
All right, we are uh, we're going to resume. Uh, you said you wanted four, correct? Excuse, yes, please. Okay. Oh, Sorry, dang four it. what? <laughs> That's what I was uh, let me flush first. I forgot to do that. Can't ever forget to flush. <sighs> Sorry, it seems to be a little slow on the spin today. All right, I'm gonna start flushing the section. 40. Uh, can you like, uh, I th I'm pretty sure you're spread out already. I was gonna say, can you just kind of do something like that? Cause uh, there's that kink, if you just kind of like go straight forward if there's anything in that kink or whatever. All right, that seems good. There's not a lot of sediment, so it's kind of hard to tell. But okay, so number number four. Uh, all right. Do you see a smaller sponge behind that sponge? Oh. Uh, we don't have to worry about it right now. I'm just curious what that is yeah. later. I'm just making note of it. Yeah. Or do you mean right here, literally in bubble? Hmm. Oh, I didn't notice that one either. Uh, it is. Do we want? We to want the associates first. Do you also want the? Oh wait, I don't see it anymore. That was the last sponge. Never mind. Uh. No, you're talking about the anemone. Can you yeah. Do that's that? on the other side of it. Oh, okay. Please. If it is in fact an, an anemone. An anemone, that's hard to say. So you we want, want the snail and the little isopods. Is that yeah. Thank you. I am at I am at forty. Okay. I wonder if we'll get tissue from uh, the sponge no, just by slurping. Oh he's coming over for us. Nice. Perfect. Oh, One. Brilliant. Did it go in? No. Nope. Uh, hard to say. I think the other one will be easier because it's more... Oh, yes. perfect. Yep. Two, three. Uh, Something's going in there. I don't think it's going to happen because... Yeah, it, it used to be easier with the other one because the other one was metal. Can we do a... So a we can slurf, snip. A snip and, yeah, a snip oh, and it's slurp. doing something. Like it is, it's, it is cutting into it. We need like a sharp edge on the slurp or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah it'd probably work better when it was yeah, scraping yeah, edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A slip and snurp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it going at 30 just in case. Because it's gonna be hard. Oh no, we got the uh, we got one of them in there at least. Looks like the isopod. One of them is in there, yeah. For sure. You could also you got bubble here too. Awesome. Nice. That All right, so I am still going at forty. I, to take a photo. I don't know why that's so satisfying to me. Yeah, that was well done. <laughs> I was so enraptured, I forgot to be taking photos of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm at 40. Give me a second. I want to get bubble on it so I can see. That's a lot. Oh, you're right on the dead parade, huh? Yeah, I'm at uh, 40. I'm at 50 now. 
There you go. Oh, textbook. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put that in some pilot training. Yes. Yeah, that was nice. Yep. Nice right job. In the jar. That was nice. Great that was good. So it looks like cotton candy in that um, jar right now, too. Oh, you can see a vortex forming on the, on Atalanta from her. That's kind of cool. That was an awesome sample. Very satisfying. All right. That was satisfying. Yeah, thanks, guys. Sorry, Mike. I fully intended to let you... Uh, no, don't worry about it. ...to let you have a there try there. And then we had that malfunction, and I... Don't worry about it. I wanted to Don't make worry. sure it was okay before we... Don't continue. worry, I'll just put it in my slight book. <laughs> <laughs> You're keeping a list. <laughs> yeah. Okay, continuing on. Still going east, correct? Yeah. Yeah, we'll try to finish that move. Uh... Bridge now. Yes, now go ahead. Five zero meters east, please. Five zero meters east. That's weird. It looks like someone took a push core. Have we been here before? <laughs> yeah. Have we been taking any yeah. push cores? I don't think Deja we have. Vu. We no. have not. <laughs> and then someone passed by like, this course looks strange. The top is... <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this? Someone guy? cut the top of the sponge off. <laughs> There's a few more. There's a couple over there, too. Whoops. Yeah. Can we zoom in, panels? Dominant species. Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Uh, could somebody else grab a, a picture of this? I'm still typing in our sample. I can highlight it. Will that go into your database, though? I got it. Should. Oh, you got it. Thank you. We should probably get another set of lasers that like here and then here, so you can see like height. Make a square, four dots. Yeah. Sorry, did you guys get your picture? I didn't uh, ask before I started to go. I think we're good. Okay, can you zoom out, please. We've seen these before, anyhow. Even just like a crosshair. Something to laser guide the harpoon. Yeah. We don't have that. After that amazing snip and slurp, we have someone in the chat saying, if you could add one thing to Herc's system, what would it be? Ooh, Ooh. laser-guided harpoon. <laughs> 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 um, uh, I would say a second seven-function arm. We have that rate arm that's seven functions. Can um, we see the small sponge on the left side yeah. as you're answering that? Uh, oh, the people on shore probably don't want to hear that because they're like $200,000 piece. <laughs> But you like that arm and, and how to control oh. it, huh? I guess it's the same. Never mind. Smaller, smaller. I thought smaller. it might be something a little different. Zoom Younger. <laughs> um, We're real scientists, I swear. We're real scientists, yeah. <laughs> I did try to re-enact <laughs> re that voice uh, the other day. It's very hard. How, how, do you write, <laughs> how do you write that down? Oh, look at <laughs> these interesting tracks. Squeak, 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 squeak. It's not some, baby talk. It's tracking. just like... No, what are these tracks? It's like little, little squeaking. Yeah. Stuff. Oh, so we're not... Jane, be, uh, that you totally wrote your name. Maybe <laughs> Holly You totally tried writing your name. Someone should give you a handwriting lesson, then. <laughs> we wouldn't... Yeah, my cursive's oh. a little... Uh, we wouldn't carve our names. We would just pick up all these nodules one at a time and put our initials like on. Something right. might have crawled over this and removed some of the sediment. It does look like a snake. But it also seems as though it kind of just ends. Is there an end point to them? Mm. It does kind of look like it ends, yep. doesn't it? It's like There's no tracks leading maybe away from it's it, really. a little bit to the left somewhat, but hard to say. That's cool. Mer people or aliens? Or a fish swimming next to those <laughs> rocks. <laughs> We'll True. never know. I'll also look like the outline from someone all those like, hi, I'm so and so. You're watching the Disney yes. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> they make yes, the little... now, go ahead. 
Yes. I'm listening to you. Can zoom in? Um, I have video open. You want to close? We have something here. Okay. Back. Maybe another of those same isopod associates? Video I can listen, but now I stop. I close. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. You can just turn it on when you turn it off. See, that's why uh, I like push the talks. What is this red on the top? There's something red on the top, right? Oh, there's an yeah, associate. Yeah, right. Small isopod, perhaps, like the one we saw in the last bunch. And I'm full zoom there, so. Okay. Can I come wide, please? We need foot pedals so we can push and then Pedal talk. To the metal. Do we want to see this closer or do we continue? continue. Background? Bye bye, sponge. <laughs> we can continue. Oh, okay. Clover's the first answer gets to call it. <laughs> I was leaning towards. I don't feel like I have the authority to, tell, to call yeah, any CGI. shots over here. <laughs> You're gonna pick the next dive. Ooh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do we want to continue east here? Deal. Hmm. We do. Well, you zoom in. Oh, what's this? It's up to Aisa. It's her dive. Perhaps. <laughs> sea pig? Haven't changed much. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, we've been on the same. So, sea pig. I wonder if this was what was making its tracks known. Oh, uh, it's possible. We were trying to get the vehicles These do maybe fly, another so. 50 meters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But then we can turn perpendicular to slope pretty okay. easily from there. So okay. let's keep going, Lynette, I think. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Perfect. Yeah. Bridge Thank now. You. Can we have five zero meters east, please? Thank you. So another holocturian. <laughs> it might get us 10 meters deeper. And then we'll just take a last look and... Zoom in, pause. We're, We're quite a bit ahead of Atlanta, so um, I'm going to wait for it to catch us. I like how sea pigs tiptoe. I know. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Oh, the yeah. life of the sea pig. <laughs> they do always kind of seem to be arching up. I wonder if that's because they sense us and it's like a defense mechanism or if they're just like that normally. Yeah. Probably not scientific that they're tiptoeing, but it just looks like it. It's okay. We've been anthropomorphizing everything we see so I like that word too it doesn't really see? roll off the tongue very well no I was actually reading a debate the other day about whether or not we, we should do that you with you invertebrates since we are here stop is it possible to zoom more we we'll have to get closer I'm full okay can we zoom out please yeah uh, I'll come down a bit to give you a meter or two uh, we're close enough now I, I only have to move up a, a, a meter and a half or so Oh no, we're almost halfway through. Even when we get a full watch, we get a basin. <laughs> Blue water was fun last night, though. Not last night. Was Maybe that for the back row. <laughs> as long as we can zoom in on stuff on the way down, there's always something cool to see. Yeah. Yeah, the last couple of dives has been... If we allot some time for descent, Play time on descent. Just add an hour. No, it doesn't take that that much time, but no, like but an extra can. twenty minutes or so, and then we can have you know, if we see a couple things, we can spend thirty seconds to a minute following it, and then continue down. Are you crafting I'm your perfect dive? There. Sure. <laughs> Is that better? We can we can still get closer. That's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, I would like to see the texture closer? because in some pictures of the guide, you can see the texture of the. Of their tissue, so, but 
the just take advantage because you said we are we need to wait a little bit here. So. Yeah. So you want to get closer? Yeah, please. Okay, zoom out, please. Maybe. I was just reading that sea pigs are the deep sea babysitters. The deep sea what? Babysitters. Babysitters? Yeah, and saying that research is showing that uh, they frequently see juvenile lithodids crabs climbing on or hiding under sea pigs, possibly as a way for the young crabs to protect themselves from predators. Ah, so forced babysitter. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> babysitter against their will. Not something I chose. One thing we're not seeing here, uh, the other one was clear, we see the polychaete associate usually has. With oh, they have polychaetes on them? The other dives we Turn your we uh, seeing, down lights on, please. But um, this dive I haven't seen the polychaete Thank you. yet. Yeah, I think on that one dive we saw polychaetes on a lot of different things. Wow, what a s zoom. Would it be safe to call a polychaete a worm? Can you change a little bit like the lights just for uh, to have different contrast and we can see different textures? Um, yes, features? Ashley. By the, um, they are in the larger group of annelids. Uh, keep the down lights Annelid on and worms. turn everything else off. Poly meaning many, keep meaning Kite, they're little appendages that are on either side. Yeah, I could keep playing with the lights. Can, are we able to dim them? Like, no. On the 50% or something? No? No. Uh, that, you got some? Amazing. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Uh -oh. We need some lights. There we Ooh. go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, is that oh, fine? Fine. Do that again. Oh, yes. yeah. no, it was the lasers. Oh. oh. Sorry. Darn. I'm still going <laughs> to take a photo of it. It's cool. <laughs> that is kind of cool though. Hold, hold on. Look, can we zoom out? Let's zoom out a little bit it's more. It's like a sea pig rave. Hold on. Oh I might nice. be able to get, I might help out with that. Oh Atlanta. my goodness. <laughs> Anybody have any music? Over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's neat. I wonder if he feels that. Hmm. Mm, but it, yeah, so. Why it's got to be him? warm, right? It's got to have some temperature to it. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, can we turn our lights back on? I was saying there's something to the right of it too, a funky Xenophia 4 or something, likely. Can we zoom out, please? That, that's perfect, thank you so much. Yep. Thank for. Yeah, we need something like that's in between. <laughs> no, I think we are fine. I think we got enough material. The, uh, the ability to dim them would be, would be cool, but um, it's not a necessary thing. We need a dimmer switch on the lights, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Or just uh, another, maybe another channel mm -hmm. with just one light so we can get some dim or a light that's off to the, s the side so we get a different perspective with or shadows like or something. Or the porch level. Like yeah. 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 So you had mentioned polychaetes. You were looking for a polychaete associate, Aisa, or? Yeah, it's uh, one of the associates well known with um, some of the holoturians is uh, polychaete. I think in the previous dive you saw almost all of the ones we are seeing. There are one or two, uh, but they wa sometimes they can be underneath, more protect. Uh, so okay. You want to start uh, oh, there's a zooming fish, in? Perhaps. Ooh. An eel or something? Oh. No, oh, this is a sea pig. Oh. It is a sea pig. Yeah, what is that on the ground? Oh, that's crazy looking. Oh. Is there, yeah, this one's like prickly. Really spiky one. Yeah. yeah, that's a. That doesn't look much like the other sea pigs we've seen. No. Maybe it's like a sea warthog. Unless it's just the underside. Yeah, it could just be the underside. Wow. No, but it looks. No, yeah. it looks like way too like spiny. Skinny. Yeah. yeah. It's quite it's really oh, so it's. I was just pig. gonna say that I feel like the sea pigs are kind of defying their phylum name as spiky skin. But yes, there's definitely something cool on the right side too that we should look at in a minute. Can we um, turn the down lights that's on? Elevation. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. It's oh wow, can you, yes, that's fantastic. So is it a sea pig? A holothurian, yeah. It's a holothurian for sure. Oh, it's like glittery almost. 
Oh, he's closer than I thought he was. Yeah. What was what was it doing up in the water column? No idea. It was probably it didn't just moving. scare it that far. And even the way it moved is a it's, it's on its way to the rave. Oh, you go to huh. <laughs> huh. We started hey. a party, so it needs Stop. to go find yeah. it. Can you Stop coming closer. <laughs> he's like on the porch. If only we had the Triclops cam right now. Chat I know. saying not a sea pig, it's a sea cu cucumber. Which sea pigs are in that grouping, um, but I guess slightly different. Not all sea pig, no, not all sea cucumbers are chasing us sea away. pigs, but all sea pigs uh, are. Is this a square well, rectangle go conversation? I don't want to. Yeah. That's going to end up going into a thrust. Uh, there was a something yeah, to the right. We want to look at this. I don't know if it's the family Lyetimogonidae, the Holoturian. And this one is a challenge. Let's see. What? What What's in the world? This? Wow. That is oh like wow, a jelly or oh something. Oh, it is a polychaete. Yeah, polychaete. Should we collect this? Do you think? It's like straight I'm up just sure on can, something. Um, I'd like to see if you can zoom out a little bit to see where it is attached because I have the bottom things here. Yeah, let's pivot around it. Can you zoom out? Yeah. Uh, like, it's like no, a it's shrimp inside. Can you zoom out, please? I think he's going to move closer. I'm going to move around it. We okay. get a better angle, oh, and then I'll move brilliant. closer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's larger than. It's much yes, larger it than. Loads of Whoa. Is that a sponge? It doesn't look like it. It's a question mark. Thing. I gave I you quite a bit of tether be. there. That's good. Just a few years off. You can zoom in there, probably. I need a better look at it. Look at all these things. <laughs> There's so many associates there. It does it. It has it internal. Is it eating them? Yeah, that's what I was like. Yeah, I would think it's a tunicate. One I of the predatory tunicates, perhaps? It's like very translucent. It doesn't it's look like it, the other sponges. Hold on just a, one second there, please. It's it's kind of swaying. Wow, look at the coloration on that associate um, closest to us. Yeah, it's got like a pink outline. Purplish. Mm, it's translucent all the way down its base. There's a worm on its base, too. Yeah. And these are yeah, inside. Yeah, we should. I think we should collect this. Uh, looks like Steve and Paula agree. Uh, okay, you on it. Who? Okay. Well, what do we want to do? I wonder. <laughs> it looks like we can slip the whole thing. Yeah. But let's not. <laughs> What's that? I said it looks like we could slip the whole thing. Bridge. Slurp. No. Would it could but, it be um, possible to grip it, kind of closer to its base and pull it up? If it's just the on the nodules, thing. I don't know if it'll be too. There's a lot of things in there. There is. There's a lot of things in there. Does it well, look like it's... Kids, for sure, too. This looks like um, a, s a different, but maybe it it's from It looks like it does it, like it's not neutrally buoyant. You know what I mean? Oh, it is a... It looks it like looks it's neutrally buoyant. It is a tunicate, for sure. You can really? see the mouth. Yeah, we're going to struggle with yeah. this. Is it from the family Octa... I think... Just the way it's like... Nemide. What is it? Octa... But I want to say that it's Nemide. more heavy because, like... Nemide? It looks like Octa it's bent at, at its like stock area. I see what you mean. So it's like fighting against its own weight. We can put some nodules in it, and then we're gonna get <laughs> pulled by Atlanta here. Yeah. So give us this. Uh, Nav just put in a move. Yeah. West to come so back. So we can uh, come and get this. So give us a second, and we'll try to figure out what the best way to do. Yeah. We will get this. This is cool. Yeah, this is a very super, cool, super cool, cool thing. Lots of associates too. We're gonna have lots of sub samples for it. That's awesome. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean I'm no. being sincere. I swear. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> will it be awesome? Can you zoom out on that bubble cam, please? <laughs> I swear, I really am. This is very, very cool. <laughs> At four in the morning when you're separating. Yeah, it's a one. different story when it's <laughs> yeah. two a.m. Mm -hmm. It's like we got twenty samples off this one thing. Someone's saying it reminds him of, of Salvador Dali. Oh, yeah, very, um, yeah, he does kind of look like that. What's the term? Surreal, I guess. I don't think Salvador Dali looks like that. I think it's a painting. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like 
wow, that's weird. He actually said it's a Salvador <laughs> Dali blob sponge. <laughs> It, it seems attracted to us. I think it's trying to suck us in. Come here. Octonemus. Okay. What do we have for space open um, front bio, or is that not? Yeah, well. I was just going to say front bio box is preferable for us because it's not affected by thrust or wash. And I have a feeling this guy is going to be. Well, we neutral. certainly we don't have anything like this in any of our bio boxes, so I think we'll be okay if we want to put it in. There's some rock nodules in Lambda. We could put it in with that. Okay. We just have to wait for Atalanta. Mm. ROV won't stay still right now. Look at that wash. The yeah, it's like it's trying. It's working. Can I zoom in, James? If you'd like, yep. What is that? Looks like a muscle. Yeah. It looks like a little sp stocked sponge almost. Yeah. The brown thing behind it? Oh, no, I was talking about the white thing inside the... Yeah, that someone, someone in the chat said it had a sponge on top. Is it eating the sponge? Yeah, that would be kind of a... Quite the grab. <laughs> Since they're both Cecil exactly. organisms. <laughs> <laughs> it could just be part of the anatomy of yeah, the Yeah, maybe it. it doesn't look like a sponge so much when you go. Do we have Come an on, idea for what this might be? We th believe it's a, a predatory tunicate, which is oh, okay. actually one of in the chordate families. Um, it's sessile, but it, it kind of it's almost like a similar to a Venus flytrap, I guess, where it just kind of sits and waits, brings stuff into it. Yeah, I don't know a lot about these personally. Hmm. Sessile meaning not moving. Sessile meaning attached to a substrate, correct? Okay. Or yeah, not moving. <laughs> It looks like it's kind of reached the end of its swing there, eh? It looks like it. Starting to come back. Another minute or two. Sciencing in the ocean. Hi, so did both of those associates, uh, the white one and then the kind of pink and yellow one, are those both polychaetes to your, to the best of your eyesight? It is, yeah. Okay, great. It says here on this website that the tunicate comes from, the word tunicate comes from the outer covering called the tunic that protects oh. the animal from predators like sea stars, snails, and fish. I'd rather be protected from the tunicate. <laughs> <laughs> what protects everything else? How you feeling? Probably pretty good. I got a headache, but. Do you want to do this one? It's sure. An it's an important grab. We want to grit this guy. Yeah. Uh, we're almost. We're almost there. We're it's almost been there. Steady now for. We'll know a when. Bit. Uh, so as soon as I start to see it coming back towards us in nav, in nav, we can. Uh, I think we'll be good once uh, Atlanta gets there steady. Go. There you go. Chat saying that they see some sea stars behind it at the base. At the base. I think it's behind it. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 